So I'm here with Simon Stott, Director of Research at Cure Parkinson's, to talk about ILCT. Simon, can you explain what ILCT stands for and what, it, what, it's, what it's all about? So ILCT stands for the International Link Clinical Trials Program. It's an initiative that Cure Parkinson's set up 11 years ago. It is a drug repurposing and clinical trial program. What are some of the factors that go into determining whether a drug is worth investing in for repurposing an, an ILCT? Firstly, uh, there has to be evidence of um, potential for disease modification, and that can be preclinical data and models of Parkinson's demonstrating that this um, agent is protective, or it could be epidemiological data where we look at large populations of people and we see that this um, drug or treatment is associated with a reduced risk of Parkinson's. It could also simply be anecdotal evidence from a doctor-patient interaction. For example, amantadine was repurposed back in the 1960s based on a lady with Parkinson's taking this influenza drug and finding that her symptoms improved significantly. There's lots, there's lots of different ways that uh, a drug can be selected. So you have all of these different potential drugs that could be repurposed. How do you decide which ones to move forward with? How do you sort of rank them or score them? So we use a committee of experts. It's part of the International and Clinical Trials Program. We have a panel of 22 um, leading experts from around the world, and they gather for a two-day face-to-face meeting every year where we present them with a set of dossiers. We give them the dossiers two weeks before the meeting, and we ask them to read through and evaluate and score each one of them. Each dossier has information about a particular molecule or treatment of interest, um, and their job is to to dictate to us which of these should go forward to uh, clinical testing. And what kind of people do you have on the committee that makes these decisions? Uh, we have the best of the best. They are wonderful people. We have experts from around the world with regards to Parkinson's research. Uh, we have a lot of clinicians on board the committee. We have people who have expertise with regards to the basic biology of the condition. Also uh, clinical trial design and statistical expertise as well. Uh, so that while a, a molecule might be interesting from a biological background, um, some factors may inhibit it actually being translated into a clinical trial. And these that's where you need folks with uh, clinical trial expertise to sort of add to the conversation that this could be challenging. They're wonderful people because they're helping us on their own time. This is pro bono effort and um, we are very, very grateful. Is, is it fair to say that most of the drugs you're investigating are things that will slow down the progression of Parkinson's as opposed to find a cure? And if so, how do we get closer to an actual cure for Parkinson's? The first task is to slow down the progression of the condition. Once we've found a molecule that can shift that needle, then we start to look at combination therapies. So we take that molecule and we add another molecule and we see if it doesn't have a synergistic effect. We're trying to change the trajectory from sort of a downward slope to a less downward slope until we're sort of at even keel. And then ideally we can start um, hopefully taking people back to um, where they once were. It sounds fascinating. Where can I find out more if I'm interested in this topic? So we have um, more information on our website, cureparkinsons.org.uk, with regards to the International and Clinical Trials Program and a lot of the therapies that we are currently testing or have tested. You can also have a look at a research report that's put out every year. Kevin McFarthing is the lead author, and it's a review of the drug development landscape that's currently ongoing at the moment for um, Parkinson's research. Thanks very much, Simon, and fingers crossed for some of these drug trials. Thank you. You can help us keep making this content by simply subscribing to the channel. And remember, there's a new video every week.